Hello, I'm John and welcome to Friend Crafting. Now in my last Castle Story video, I didn't really know what I was doing. So what I've decided to do now that I've been playing for a while, is to create a much quicker, more concise tutorial that help beginners and advanced players. Starting with the basic stuff, movement. Holding the spacebar and using the WASD keys or the left mouse button allows you to pan the camera horizontally. Spacebar and the mouse wheel lets you zoom in and out. Without the spacebar, use the mouse wheel to move up and down. Using the spacebar on the right click lets you rotate the camera. In the top right corner, there are five menu icons. The first one just indicates when you're moving the camera. The second one is a flyby camera mode. When selected, the camera will hug along with the terrain as you move along it. The third option is X-ray vision. Selecting this only shows you the level that you're on, which you can change by scrolling the mouse wheel without the spacebar. The fourth option toggles the option to have a day and night cycle. Finally, the last option accesses the main system menu. However, don't use this. Use the escape key on your keyboard. Otherwise, there are reports of errors occurring when you want to save and load. In the same light, don't press return to game either, and again, press the escape key. To select Bricktrons, click on an individual one, or click and drag a box around the Bricktrons you want to select. If you right-click on an empty space, those Bricktrons will move there, or right-click on a tree, and they will cut it down. A better way of getting wood is to select the tree felling option at the bottom and then the axe icon on the right, and then clicking in a space where you want trees to be cut down. You'll then need to go to the sword icon in the top left, and then increase the radius to include more trees. You can also collect stone and crystals by mining. To mine, select the pickaxe option at the bottom, and then the top pickaxe option on the right. From there, click and drag across an empty space you want to mine, and then move the mouse down and click again to select a depth. Stairs will be added automatically. A more elegant way of mining is to use the tunneling option. To do this, select the mining job at the bottom, and then select the second from the top pickaxe icon. Then, find a suitable area you want to mine, and click to produce a 3x2 space that's going to be mined. Then behind that you'll see two squares or tiles. Double clicking on this will extend the mine backwards. The same thing is there on the sides. By doing this, you can create a mine. Now if you want to select individual tiles to extend, control and left click on those spaces and then click again when they're green to extend them and make them part of that mine. If you want to remove blocks, go to the sword icon and then select remove in edit mode. Control and clicking on the tiles will turn them red and then clicking again will remove them. If you want to add stairs to go down, change edit mode under the sword icon to stairs. You can do the same thing, it's very similar to remove mode, by controlling and clicking in the spaces you want to become stairs, and then clicking again. For a construction job, select the hammer icon at the bottom, and on the right you'll see a large selection of blocks or items that you can use. You can also use the radial menu, which is accessed by holding the right mouse button and then dragging into the block that you want. Use the right click to rotate the block, and the left click to place. If you want to remove a blueprint, or even destroy a normal block, shift and left click to mark it for removal. Destroying blocks can leave debris on the island that isn't picked up by miners. If it's causing performance issues, you can press the delete key to get rid of all current debris on the map. To get rid of your selection, access the radial menu again by holding the right mouse button and then dragging the selection into the cancel icon. But before you can really get into this, you need stockpiles to store your resources. To do this, select the stockpile icon from the construction menu, and then click to place. It will require one log, and afterwards you can click on it to choose options. You can delete it, and you can also tell it to stop accepting wood and stone individually. Be careful, never place stockpiles in a 4x4 square because the Britrons can get stuck, and even if you delete the stockpiles, they won't move. One thing the stockpiles don't store is crystals. For that you need a barrel. If you place this around the big crystal in the center of the island, Bricktrons will slowly fill it up as they mine, and then sometimes lights will come out of the big crystal and will use the smaller crystals in the barrels to form a new Bricktron. If you double click on a barrel with crystals in it, it will explode. Stone blocks when placed interact like you might expect, not at all. But with logs, if you put them in the right orientation, the graphic will change to show that they're connected. When you have two horizontally orientated logs, at least two blocks apart, you can place a plank between them, and the graphic will change to show that it's connected. This is useful as a floor. Catapults can launch barrels as a projectile. To make one, you need both stone and wood. To load the catapult, select a Bricktron and walk it to the barrel to make it pick it up. Then, move it over to the catapult and shift and right click on the catapult to load it. Then you can click on the catapult and you have four options. The first option allows you to change where it's aiming. Right now you can pretty much just select anywhere on the map. The third option allows you to eject the barrel. And lastly, press the fire option to shoot the barrel. 
It doesn't matter whether it's full of crystals or not, it will still explode when it hits the ground. Arch blocks are useful for more than just arches. You can also use them to extend the foundations of a building into empty space. You can use this to make bridges. To do this, place one arch block and a stair block in front of it, and then keep doing this until you build up and over the new island. Then, break the block beneath the Bricktron, when they are as far into the island as you can get them, and then clean up the bridge on both sides. From options, in the system menu, you can also activate debug mode. This gives you the ability to spawn in new Bricktrons, and also Archer and Warrior class types. If you want an enemy, you can spawn in the enemy warriors and the Corruptrons. Clicking the yellow sphere will cause an explosion wherever you click, but be careful, it's very addictive. I've been John of Friendcrafting, and I hope that helps.